Hi everybody, it's time to show you my Make a Mark March notebook halfway through. Let me show you the first 15 days. Um, this was day one. The mark was MMM for Make a Mark March. And um, you could choose any colors that you wanted to work with. Uh, this was day two. Um, we used markers <clears throat> on uh, day two, and so um, so I antiqued those. And after I made my marks, my plaids, I antiqued them, added a piper, because I'm Scottish, and this is all about generations. Day three uh, was um, lines, so I. Um, I uh, uh, put some, oh, uh, what do you call it, um, gesso on there so that the paints would move around. And I started adding a lot of color, and it moved into that face. So uh, I went with that face, added uh, some hair and neck, and added my lines, which to me look like rain. And so, um, so that's... Uh, that's how that came out, and she just appeared out of nowhere. Uh, I'm not sure where she's from, from the other world, I guess. Uh, day four was uh, bubble, bubble wrap. So you were supposed to make your mark with bubble wrap, and um, when I think of bubbles, I think of seltzer and the effervescence of the bubbles, and so this is what I'm all into right now drinking this um, natural seltzer water and my favorite flavor is the ruby red grapefruit so hence that's what I did number five <laughs> was circles and I call these my flirty birds and um, the eyes are circles the bodies are circles and uh, that's uh, one of my favorite days thought that was fun Day six was pink and kind of came up with with the pink, um, all pink. And I like this circle, I mean I like this ring binder style because I can use um, uh, like uh, dimensional pieces in it if I wanted to. And so I used it on that one. And I used it on this one too, day six. Um, this was, oh, skipped one. Uh, smoosh, day, I thought I was uh, kind of off there a little bit. Uh, this is um, the smoosh, which I really loved because when you, when you drop color on there and then you cover it with plastic and you smoosh it down, um, when I pulled it up, I saw pictures. And I saw the butterfly, and I added some white lines to accentuate it. And see that alien? Well, that came from the dark blue alien. And I didn't really see the dark blue alien until I uh, I picked up the the paper that uh, or the plastic, and I smooshed one more down over here because this area was empty. And that's when I saw the alien. I'm like, oh my gosh, freaky! And this one here smooshed into the cutest little puppy and I didn't do a single thing that's just what came out and um, then also on this side this is what came out this little doggy and I l drew lines around it to show the dog that I saw and added some white marks for the tail but and the eye but otherwise that's what came out that's what came out so uh, the smoosh was really interesting to me now, um, the next day was rubber bands, and so I put some rubber bands down in a pattern, and then I sprayed it with a, with, um, the, the, uh, Delusions ink spray. I sprayed it with that, and, uh, it showed a lot more different rubber bands on there, and I didn't really like them, and so I smooshed them around, uh, smooshed the ink around, and added a few things in it. I just turned into a crazy page, and so <laughs> I call it Bizarro World, because who would ever put a flamingo dancer on Bizarro World? 
only me. So that's that day. The next day is 10 marks. And you put 10 different things to make your mark. And this one uh, was dreaming. And um, one of the marks, of course, was using uh, collage to cover your picture. But my 10 marks were rubber bands, stenciling, stamping, smooshing, dots, spraying, markers, some collage, ink, and a sentiment. So those were the 10 parts to this piece. You all know about Time is Relative. That was my last video and the struggles I had putting that one together. Um, this is day 12. That's X's and um, pine trees or palm trees is what I thought of. I always think of X's when I see palm trees, so that was nice. A fright to remember uh, because this is kind of a frightful picture. But this was drips and... and splashes so I uh, after I splashed the blobs of paint on I rolled them around and dripped them I did them one at a time uh, drying each color in between and so that's how they stayed fairly distinct this page here um, was three colors and so I liked that um, I liked that drawing. That it's not my drawing. It's a it's a piece from a storybook, and um, I cut it out and I picked out pink and brown, and I used red and brown. I used pink and green to make brown for the brown seaweed, but it kind of turned a little greenish. But anyway, um, basically my colors were blue, brown, and pink. I identify with this particular mermaid because she looks like an elderly mermaid. <laughs> and then day 15 was day 15 was um, writing. Background writing. Uh, so I put a layer of writing. I wrote a story out. I got a package from Ying Yao that day. And so I wrote all about getting the package and how fun it was. In my worst scribble, scribble, and actually scribble is the name of the prompt. Um, so that, uh, and then, uh, but first I, I inked the page up. Then I wrote on it with my, um, with my fountain pen which I love, has very nice fine writing. It's called uh, a Platinum Carbon Ink Pen, and I absolutely, absolutely love it. Um, and then I added a little collage pieces on top uh, after I covered the writing with, oh, and I don't know if you can see the, the doilies I added to it. And uh, so that's the first half. So... Um, at the end of March, I will show you the last half of this art journal. <laughs> and if you like it, uh, subscribe. If you like seeing some of the things I do and my explanations, uh, I would love to hear from you. Uh, give me a comment, or uh, and that way I know that you've uh, you've stopped by to see it. Um, so I uh, I'd love to uh, I'd love to have you uh, stop by always. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.